Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining. I'm back. I was not feeling well, and um, I wanted to do this video yesterday, but it's okay. It can be the 5th of July. <laughs> um, this is a kit by Lydia from Raindrop Lila. How are you all? I hope you're doing well. I'm sorry for jumping right in. Um, this is a kit by Lydia from Raindrop Lila. And I so wanted to get something made for the, um, for, um, Independence Day, but I wasn't feeling very well. So I decided to, um, just, you know, leave it aside and continue resting. Um, so I wanted to get this started. And I wanted to show you a few of the things that I've printed out. Some of them I've already cut up, but I can still show them to you. This is from her Americana um, kit. And Independence Day means a lot to me for a lot of reasons. So um, I really wanted to make something, even if it was something small, um, for that, for me to have and to um, write in about you know, what Independence Day means to me on different pages on different days. So anyway, um, she has, um, this is printed two to a page because my journal is small and I will show you how to put that together if you'd like to stay. So um, these are called her metallic, I uh, know, um, metal, metal something. I don't remember, but I'll leave the, I'll leave the information in the description box as I always do. Just click on more and it will give you all of the information and where you can find the digitals. These are all from Raindrop Lila. So um, this is printed two to a page. I think I printed one to a page so you'll be able to see that. And this is also printed two to a page. Aren't they beautiful? I just love them. I have so many ideas for them. And then these are some envelopes. They're printed at regular size. And then this is an envelope with a check and some stamps, which um, I have some ideas. This was a happy accident. Look at how gorgeous that is. Um, when I was printing my tags, um, one of my um, photo paper, uh, my gloss photo paper was in with my other cardstock. And it printed on this, but I love it. Look at the Liberty Bell. It's so beautiful. So I was really happy with that, even though it was a mistake. <laughs> and then this comes from her ephemera kit. So I'm really loving that. Did I print on the back? Yes, I did. I think I printed on the back of all of them. This is the full page of, let's see, that one. So, as you can see, there's the full page and there's the half page. I did print on all of them. And then this has some buttons, which I love buttons. And this reminds me of my father-in-law a lot because he used to send airmail. He was from Austria and he would send his family, um, his aunts and uncles, um, airmail. I actually have a letter of his that um, was the first email, airmail um, that left the United States to go to Austria. So um, that's printed at, I think that's printed at 50% as well. And then here's tickets. And if you know me, I love Lydia's tickets. I use them for so many things. Those in her spools, I love them. And she always makes sure she fills up everything like it says vintage nostalgic and memories and love and journey and possibilities and remember and yesterday and just all different kinds of things that you can add. And then these are printed at 50%. These are the vintage framed Americana uh, framed photos. Are they not just so beautiful? And they're printed at 50% as well. 
and then these are printed at 50%. It's the Liberty Bell. I just love this. I really love these a lot. We were in Philadelphia um, when my children were small. I had three children. Julie had just turned four. And then Jason was two and a half, or two, two, and Lindsay was just born because they're 18 months apart. So, um, yeah, it just reminds me of that five days during the 4th of July where we spent um, Independence Day. And then Lydia gave these, which I love, their um, inspiration prompts and writing prompts. Um, for the summer and um i just think it's really great that she did that you know because we i know with myself i always kind of forget about you know different things like craft paper or um you know use some beads add an envelope use a stamp use a stencil and then down here for writing prompts is a gratitude list or joy in the simple things and ice cream memories and lazy days, what self-care looks like, take me to the water. It's just a verse or a quote, a prayer. It's just perfect. So I'll include those in my journal as well. Oh, these, um, these are just, I ran out of the mini, um, um, Oh, I forgot what you call them. But anyway, I ran out of those and I had to print some more. The mini, um, oh my goodness. I always forget the name of them, but anyway, they're awesome. I use them in everything. I'll think of them as, as I'm going along, you'll hear me yell it out <laughs> and I'll, and you'll know why. So, I decided to make a, because I don't have a lot of time, obviously, it's the fifth already. So, I'm just going to make a simple um, tag journal. And um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. It won't take long. And um, so, I just cut out the tags that I wanted to use. And I did want to use the blank ones because I plan on putting something in them. So, I'll show you the three um blank ones here's i wanted to use the tall ones so there's this set but i wanted to use all blank ones because i have something that's going to go on the blank ones so you get these and then you get the blank ones so um i mix them up i put like this on the back and this on the front and you know the same with everything else so it really doesn't matter as long as I don't end up with the same one at the end, which I won't. As long, oh, I don't want that. So I'm going to flip, I guess. Let me see. Hold on. I'm going to flip this here. I'm going to put this one here. I just don't want the same ones beside each other. Not that it really matters, but... No, well, I could do this. I could do this. There. Okay. So, um, I just didn't want to end up with the same one. Not that it really matters. So, I'm just going to move these over here. Because I'm going to start with... That's going to be my cover. My first one. Yeah. That's going to be the very first one. But I don't want that to be the first one, so I'm gonna so I'm going to um oh dear. I wanted that's gonna be my back. Okay. So that's gonna be my back and that's gonna be my front. So what I wanna do and I already cut my fabric. I'm going to use fabric. And it's only about 
maybe an inch wide. Yeah, I just tore it and I put blue ticking on one side and red and white ticking on the other. So all I'm going to do, did I ask you how you were doing? I hope so. Thank you so much for your lovely comments. I am getting to them slowly. Okay, so, wait one second. This is going to be my front cover. So I want to put some glue down this left-hand side. And I'm going just from the corner of the tab. I'm not going all the way up. Okay, so just from the corner here down. And I'm going to do the same thing with my fabric. I don't want it to go above that. And I'm just going to press that down real good. Okay, so then I want to put my top on, but I don't want to glue, I don't want to glue this side, I just want to glue everything else because that needs a tab, and that, that tab is last. Okay, so I'm just going to run some glue along this edge here and I'm going to go ahead down my fabric that's why I'm using Fabri-Tac and then right along this edge here but I want to leave this open for the tab I guess I'll put some more glue in here just want to get enough on my fabric so it stays I don't know if I'll be stitching this or not. So then I just want to make sure that the top is lined up. Okay. And it looks like it is. And then I'll just bring it down. Like so. And don't worry if it doesn't match up exactly at the bottom or at the top. We can always ink that, which I'll probably do. Oh, oh no, that's fine. I left it open. <laughs> I'm like, wait. Yeah, I left that open. I've done that before. I've glued the wrong side. So now I want something different here. So I'll put this here. Okay. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to, oh, that didn't come out very straight, but that's all right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the stripe, you're not going to really see much of it. So I just want to make sure that my front and back are going to be different. So that's good. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put this here right and just leave like a little bit you know just a little space i really don't like the way that's curving like that but i guess there's nothing i can do about it hold on maybe if i move this it'll probably move the other stripe but maybe i can make it just a little bit straighter because it looks really wonky. That's better. I shouldn't have used stripe ma um I shouldn't have used the ticking because you can really notice it, I guess. It's good enough. And that still looks fun. So I want to put, this is going to be the back. So I'm going to put this on first. And 
and line it up with that one, but make sure you leave a gap so you can fold it like that. I don't want to get my head underneath the camera, but it's okay if I do. So did you all have a wonderful 4th of July or um, did you go to the beach? Did you have a picnic? I was sick, so, and there were fireworks all day. Let me just get a paper towel because I see a little bit of glue getting on my hand and I don't want that to happen. So now I'm just going to glue right on top of that fabric here and go up here but I'm not going to glue that because I need to well I can put the tab on now so I'll put the tab on now so there's a blue one on that tab so I'm going to put the red one on this and try and get everything straight And then I'm gonna put my back on. I should put some glue here. And you can stitch this as well, which is likely what I'll do before I stitch in my signatures. And I've done this before, um, but I just thought I'd do it again in case I had new people who hadn't seen it before. I just want to pull this out a little bit. Here we go. It doesn't really matter if my stripes are real straight because as you can see, you can barely see them. So that looks like it's nice and even up there. Turn it around. Now I don't want the same one, so I just want to make sure that I'm not getting the same ones. Nope. So now again, I'm going to glue this side. I shouldn't have done that whole thing because now it's going to get on my mat. I should have just glued down the edge. That's all right. I'll hold it. So I just want to go Make sure it's nice and even. And it's not bothering me that I can't see that whole stripe. You can see some of it, which is good. I'm just trying to get it nice and even up there. And press it down. And I'll cut off my um, fabric. Just flip it over real quick so that I don't get any glue on my mat. There. Now I'll do this one. I'm just putting some glue down here so that it catches the fabric. I won't put any fabric there yet. Well, I should. So I need blue on this side. And only to that little crease, you know, the little edge there where the, where the tag is. And then I'm going to put my back on. So just make sure I have enough glue there. And a little bit on my fabric. And then line it up. Like that. Push that 
that up a little bit. There we go. And you can do as many tags as you want. You could do 20 if you wanted. And I'm going to be putting signatures in here. And I'm going to be putting things on the fronts and the backs as well. Oh, that's both the same. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Because it's going to look different anyway when you're done. Well, when I'm done. By the way, I'm going to be doing it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. That's my first one, right? Yeah, wait a minute. No, I'm okay. So, so what's going to happen is you're going to be going like this. Okay? That's why you need the fabric in there because it's going to be kind of like a, a fold. Uh, uh, not really, I guess like a flip-flop journal, but not really. <laughs> okay, so then the next one, the first time I saw this, Carol Laws did it. And she does a really good job. I have her video saved, so I'll link that in the description box below. Oh, yeah, those two are the same. That's all right. Those aren't. Doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead with this one, but I'm going to flip it <laughs> so that this one is this way and this one is this way because I don't want all blues and all greens if that makes sense see these are all different which is nice but it doesn't really matter because they're going to be different anyway once I get done decorating the fronts so I'm just going to run some glue again down here and hopefully get this on here. You can still see some of the blue and some of the red in different areas, so that's fine. Just wanna make sure that's over enough. I really love ticking. I think it looks so nice. And let's see, this one, I'm going to do this down here, across here, up here, and across here, because I have to put my, um, what you call it on there. So I want blue. Fighting off the threads of my fabric and my glue. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Pardon me. I have so many great videos coming up. I really wish I hadn't missed so many. I still have the other two that I'm working on. The um, small tiny one and the one from um, the um, embroidery one. So the slow stitch one with the small band-aid cover and the embroidery one, which I'm really excited about. I haven't been able to work on them, but that's okay. So that's blue. I don't want blue again. So I'll do this color and I'll show you what I've done for signatures so far I do have to cut them down because I I did make them as tall as the tag and they really can't come as tall as the tag because the tag has that little shape in it you know so i have to cut them down but i'll show you so far what i've done and 
and then um, and then I will show you how to tie them in when I finish the signatures, which I haven't finished yet, but I'll show you what I have finished. I just wanted to show you this part. And Lydia um, showed her journal that she made, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's exactly what I want to make. It'll probably be maybe, I don't know when, this winter sometime when I'm bored. <laughs> because I have so many other journals I want to make. And there just doesn't seem to be enough time in the day. I'm going to have a sip of water if you don't mind. Hold on a moment. I'm just going to pull my chair back a little because I have to keep my water way away from me. I have it on a little table behind me because I don't want any water near my desk. Even though it has a cover, when you take the cover off, I'm always afraid I'm going to spill it. Okay, so then back around this way. Oops. This way. <laughs> That's the front. So now, as long as the front and the back aren't the same, which somehow they are, so I'll do this one. And this one, no, this, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to end up, I don't know how that happened. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> one side is going to be different, I think. So I'm just going to go down here, making sure I leave enough room. And you can use any tags you want. Or you can even make your own tags out of, you know, scrapbook, you know, the scrapbook cardstock or, or any digital that you have. These are really fun and um, I love them. I think they're a great size. And of course, anybody that knows me knows that I love small journals. <laughs> I write in them a lot more if they're small. But I do love the larger journals, too. I love my larger journals. I I do make larger journals for, like, um, seasonal. Like, I'll make a Thanksgiving journal. I'll make a Christmas journal. And I'll write in those every day. And then when I... When, um, when that, like, November, October, November is over, I'll still usually have a lot more space. So I'll use it for the following year. I'll just date it. So my Christmas one, I didn't get to do a lot in this year. But um, it's fine because I have next year as well. But it's beautiful journal. I love it. You'll see it at Christmas time. Because I'm not doing July and Christmas in July this year. And I'm not doing... Um, I decided not to do um, Junk Journal July because I'm too far behind already. So, let me just see something here. What's on the... It doesn't matter. It's going to end up being the same anyway. So... Just make sure you leave that gap there and you don't go above here. Okay, and make sure your tops are lined up. Your bottoms, I mean, you could always ink them. I'm gonna be putting pockets and things on them. So it's most important that your tops all line up good. And if they don't, don't get all nervous about it. This inking and all kinds of things that, you know, we can do or trimming. I 
thought I might need some paper clips, but I don't. I'm going to blow out my candle. I've had it on for a little while. It doesn't want to go out. There it goes. Sorry about that. It's rose scented. My husband picked me up some. I love the rose during the summer. They're Yankee candles. So now, oh, I forgot. Ah, uh, I didn't want to close that. I have to put, oh, uh, that happens. Just pull it apart. I have to put my hinge in or nothing's going to go in. So that's red, so I need blue. Am I in frame? I hope so. I really hope I'm in frame. I can't see. Very well. Up there. Where my camera is. Or my phone, actually. There. I'll just ink that a little bit because it didn't get real even up there. Maybe I can pull it. And we have this one. And that's the last one. So I'll do this one and I think the other side's the same <laughs> but it's okay it doesn't matter at all because they'll look different by the time we're done and this is all there is to it really to put the base together of your little journal it's not really that little. These tags are quite good size. I think they're eight inches long, if I'm not mistaken. Well, maybe they're not. Hold on, I'll tell you. Just wanna leave the same amount of space here. And then you're going to flip it back over and you want to put your last one on, okay? Like this, just make sure it's nice and even. And I'll show you how it ends up. And I will show you what I'm gonna put on the front of it if there's enough time. 33. I could continue working on this and then show it to you maybe in a flip through or do some of it with you because I have a lot of different ideas. But I, like I said, I do have to cut down my signatures because they're too long. But that's no problem. They're not that long. I just forgot that they needed to be shorter. You know, I measured my signature from the top here, and they should have been measured from the bottom, you know, from here. So they fit in nicely. And don't poke out. I got one little spot there. Um, not a little spot there, but nothing that ink won't take care of. So now, is that right? Let's see. I hope so. I think so. Just wanna, before I start bending and folding, I just wanna make sure that everything is down. Now this is still open right here, but I think I'm going to leave it open. 
I don't think I'm going to close that up because I think I might put something in there. That's the first one we started with. And this is where you end up. So you need five fab pieces of fabric or cardstock or whatever you want to put here. And then six tags is what I used. So 12 all together because two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And you could even make this square. You could even make it larger. I made a larger one uh, Valentine's Day. So if you go back to February, um, I did a design team project using, you know, eight and a half by eleven papers doing the same method there so now you take this and you fold it this way I should probably cut those off let me cut these off first so that they don't get in the way cut my sewing scissors sorry about that so I'm just going to cut these off these little bits down here. I did make them longer on purpose just so that I knew I had enough. Um, oh, I think I might have cut the cardstock a little bit, but that's okay. And this one. Um, I love how nice, um, the, um, whatever you call this, <laughs> ticking phrase. I love that. So then you just fold it like this, right? Press it down and then fold it like this. Press it down and then fold it like that. And then what you have is you open it up. You've got that part where we're gonna put a signature and then another part, another signature, here, another signature, and then you flip it over. You've got a place for another signature and another signature and you're back to the front again. And it's as simple as that. But of course, I'm not going to put my signatures in yet because I need that to dry. And I'm going to stitch, you know, around. I think. I don't know yet. See, already I'm not. I shouldn't be playing too much with it so that I can let everything dry nice. And I see a little bit of a piece of fabric that's a little bit long here. So I'll just snip that. And it will fold much better too when all the glue is dry because I can feel, I can still feel that it's still wet. And typically what I'll do as well is once it's nice and dry, I will go over it with an iron and it will spread the ink, not the ink, it will spread all the glue so there's no lumps or, or anything like that. It spreads the glue really nice and makes it nice and flat. But that's it. Now, what I plan on doing is taking some of my uh, framed photos which are these and these come in the kit as well some I have put on matte photo paper and some are on the gloss photo paper and these will go something like this I mean I haven't decided which will go where yet but it'll be something like this Um, maybe this 
and then this, and then the others will go, maybe the others. I don't think so. I only have three cut. So I'd do something else on the other side. So these would go like on this side, and then on the other side, I'd have something else. But this is what I plan on so far. And these are from the framed, um, the Americana framed images. So, so far, this is what I plan on doing. And I love this because they're like little clipboards. And I might leave those as little clipboards and put little like papers or what have you underneath. So, so far, that's my idea. And I'm, of course, I'm, I think I'm going to add some things with it because I pulled out, um, let me just wipe my glue off. I pulled out some ribbons and some laces, some fabrics. I was really I, I, going crazy because my dot, my granddaughter went to a private school and her uniform was um, um, tan but she had a red shirt and a navy shirt. And I always made her red and navy bows. And I can't find the navy ribbon. I mean, I'm sure it's here. I know I have some, but so far these are the ribbons I've picked. And I know I have one like this with gold as well, but I haven't really looked through all my ribbon bins yet. I kept them pretty much in color order, but, um. Yeah, I have to look through this one more with miscellaneous ribbon in it. And it might be that I didn't have a lot of it. So I didn't put it in that bin, if that makes sense. So I have that. I have some sari. This I make myself. I dye it. And then I just take a black marker to make the polka dots. That didn't come out real red. But I think it could still be used. This came out really red. Look how red that is. I was really happy with that. This was white and so was that. But that one for some reason it came out more of a, it's not pink, but it's close enough, but I can still use it here and there. I might run it through again because I don't think the black dots, that's just a black marker. Um, uh, Sharpie. So I think I might be able to run that through again. It feels different too. This is more like a cotton sari and this is more like the regular sari. So it could be, you know, I usually buy the chiffon sari, but I don't know. This is the chiffon, but this doesn't feel like it. This feels more like a, I don't know what it feels like. And then I have this napkin. I love this napkin. I've been saving it forever. Like, I'm not even kidding, maybe four years. It says Freedom Fireworks Show Established 1776. So I want to do something with that. And then I have these red buttons. They're vintage. Oh, they're orange. I thought they were red. But now that I look at them, they're more orange. But I know I have red ones, too. I have tons of buttons. And I pulled out some doilies and some lace over here. So... I'm going to leave you with that, and um, I'll be back the next time. I don't know when that will be. I'm just starting to feel better, so I'm not spending a lot of time in my craft room. As a matter of fact, this will be about it. I'll let these dry real well, and then I'll decide where I'm going to put all my photos. But aren't they beautiful? They're so precious. But I'll be back, and um, I'm so glad that you joined me for this video. And I hope that you are inspired in some way. And um, I'll continue to video through the process so that you have an idea as to... Oh, I did do... These are from the backing kit. Not the backing. Um, these are the... Um, what are they? I guess they are backing. The backing kit. I don't remember. I'll leave it in the link below. I don't remember what the name of it is. I printed it last Saturday. And then um, this is just one of the smaller tags. I have hair. Sorry. Uh, this is just one of the smaller tags. 
And then this was a scrap from one of the larger, um, one of these. I plan on doing something with that. And then this is from the ephemera pack, I believe. And that's just music sheet. That's just a scrap I had. That doesn't go with it. Another scrap, another scrap. This is from the tall layouts, but I kept it like this. Actually, I should, I could fold it up. No, I, I guess, I, mm, I really like that, but I guess it will be all right. Like, yeah, it'll be all right like this. So that's one signature so far. And see how tall it is? I have to cut it down because it goes all the way to the top here and it really needs to come, you know, below here. So I'd like it to come like a little bit above here and a little bit below here. So I do have to cut these down. I've only made two so far. And then this is the other one that I've got so far. And this is another tag, the Freedom Bell. Just love that. And then this was another scrap from the tall. I forget what this was from, but it is a scrap. This is the tall signatures. This is one of the America, um, one of her American letters, vintage letters, and it's got the front and the back, which is really neat. And same thing with this letter and this letter. I tried to choose ones where you could do a lot of writing. See, that's the back. So you just run it through the printer with this page and then you run back through with this page. They're two separate pages. And then this was part of something and it's upside down. It actually goes this way. Yeah. No, it doesn't. It was right. This was wrong. No, that was right too. Oh dear. So that goes there. And you might see something completely different after I finish it. I'm going to be doing some wax sealing. So stay tuned for that. I got new wax seals. Um, I actually got them from a friend on um, Facebook. And um, she was selling a whole bunch of things. And I was really fortunate to get a lot for, like pennies. It was so nice. <clears throat> so anyway, I love that seal. Isn't that beautiful? I wish you could see the whole thing, but I didn't. I printed the whole thing, but then I cut it down so I could use it in my journal. And then this, I think, flips out this way. And then this is just another scrap. This is from one of the long, one of the yeah, this is going to go with this part here and in the back. Isn't this beautiful? So gorgeous. So that's what I have so far, but I think I might only do one, two. I don't know. I might do three signatures total and then do pockets and, and different flips and things. I'm not sure, but that's what I have so far. And I have to still add some more music paper. Do I have music paper in here? I thought I did. I thought I put some music paper in here. I guess I didn't. Oh yes, I did. I had one piece of a scrap one. Um, so I'll have to get some more music paper and some book page. So, yeah, I'll probably have three because these are really chunky, chunky signatures, and they're not decorated yet. So, that's it for today. I'll leave it like this so you can see it, and um, I'll be back in the next video. Until then, be well, be kind, be safe, and God bless. Love you all. Bye.